My name is Sylvia Ortiz. I was born and raised in Topeka, Kansas, and I have lived in East Topeka, or in my district, my whole life. Um, I love Topeka. Um, I, I, I love where I live. I love the people that I serve. Um, I'm Topeka proud. Um, and I love serving you, the people, um, because I think Topeka is a good place to live, to work, and to play. And um, I just want to make it a safe place in District 3 um, that we could all be proud of. There's very good people in District 3, and I am so honored to serve you these last 16 years, and I would hope that you would continue to ex um, support me, uh, the experience that I bring to the table, um, as well as the people that I know um, in my district that I know. Um, it's, it's funny that people will say that they know my district, but when they start going through that and I show them things that they didn't know, then they, then they question themselves. So I was born and raised here um, and I will continue to work in my district um, for you um, as well as our younger generation. Do you believe increasing access to affordable housing for families making less than $40,000 a year should be a part of the city's approach to economic development? I do agree um, that it should be a part of affordable housing economic development. I also believe that everybody in the city should take ownership into the affordable housing. Um, that it'll be matchable money. Um, but thank you for that question. We need more um, patrolling on the, you know, on, uh, on the evening hours, you know, on the PM, you know, after night, after hours. What would you do if the police is present uh, in the area on the east part of town, in our part of town? Thank you for that question, Raul. What I will do is I will continue to listen to my constituents and get the policing where they're needed at um, in East Topeka. Um, and so I would hope that you would continue to call me um, when you see crime because crime uh, is not only a, com a policing thing, it's a community thing. The police need us and we need the police, so we need to be their eyes and ears and that way we can make sure that we get our crime rates down. My question is for the candidates and felon reform. Is there any clear path back to redemption? Uh, there are several people in our community that have made mistakes in their life and have no clear pathway back to redemption. There's job openings that people are kind of overqualified for, but they can't get back to work because of a mistake that they made in their life. There, at the present, there's no, um, that I know of, there's nothing for reform, but there are jobs that are hiring felons um, and people with second chances. So, um, you know, we have some of our bigger companies that they, it depends on what type of crime it is that are hiring some of our felons, which I think is great, like our schmuckers in North Topeka. Um, and and, and they're, they're looking at that. Um, so maybe that's something that we can team up with the DA and, and um, try to make sure that um, they get a clear understanding that there are people that have done wrong in the past years ago and, and, and work on expungements and stuff like that. I do know that the city, um, we do some of their warrants. Uh, we do some forgive them and try to figure out how we can help them to become um, productive citizens. What is the plan to get people back to work? Well, I, I don't know what the state plan is. Um, on the local level, what I've done is right now you can get any job out there. There's help wanted signs everywhere. And so what I encourage people to do, um, I have a person that um, she has helped people with their resumes. There's a lot of job fairs. So I, 
the first thing that I would suggest to them is 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 to see what you really want to do or if you want to change jobs and and then um, go out and, and apply. But uh, the Workforce Center is helping um, find jobs. There's a lot of job fairs right now. You can get almost any job that you want. So hopefully we can let people know that this little process that we're going through with COVID is not going to last forever. And um, and we and, and we need to we need to get them back on track and let them know um, it's it's getting safer out there um, and encourage them to get to get their shots so that they can be work ready. Um, there's a lot of street improvement that needs to be done. I wanted to know what are you, what are you going to do about that? Well, I will continue to work with the the council members we have a really good team um, we've put together an infrastructure team to look at all of the streets um, to see to prioritize them um, to get a better understanding um, and i will continue to support them i, th I think it's it's really good um, you know right now in the summer um, we're, we're doing a lot of um, street improvements and we get a lot of complaints you know because you can hardly drive anywhere but um i will continue to make sure that our sales tax um that money goes to our street improvements and if there's any extra money i will continue to um, make sure that that they go for the streets that need to be repaired as i'm out going door to door i'm i'm marking down streets that i feel that are in bad shape and reporting them to make sure that that they get on the list um, to see what needs to be done or what temporary needs to be done or but what's the best way to handle it um, and so i'm making sure that they get on on the list and we need you to help also if you see a street that's really really bad just just report it and let's make sure that it gets on the list because we can't be everywhere thank you we don't have any stores to shop over here. We have a Dollar Tree and a Dollar General. We don't have any grocery stores. How would you go about trying to see that we get more fresh vegetables in the neighborhood? Well, I, I would encourage our residents like they did in Highcrest, they put together a farmer's market and I've been trying to encourage our residents to do the same in East Topeka. Um, I, I wanna collaborate with the Boys and Girls Club to see if we can have a, a fresh um, market for fruits and vegetables there at Samuel Jackson Spray Park. Um, and also um, we've tried and, and talks or discussions are still had on a grocery store. Um, it's just very hard to get somebody, a company to come over there um, when they have to put in millions of dollars of infrastructure. Uh, a report was done and um, and that's, that's a lot of what East Topeka is lagging is the infrastructure that goes in the sewer, um, you know, the electrical um, and, and, and the water mains. Um, and so um, I will continue to look for people that want to invest in East Topeka. And that's why I try to really make sure that our constant, my constituents, you know, I stress to them, um, let's keep it clean enough and safe enough so people will want to come and invest in East Topeka. Hi, my name is Sylvia Ortiz and I'm running for City Council District 3, Topeka City Council District 3.